Welcome everyone. Uh, I made it to episode 4 of 100 Hobbies. Today we're going to be doing a simple craft because um, I just long distance moved from BC to Saskatchewan. So we're going to go easy, make something for the kiddos. Look, it, it works. Just proving it works. <laughs> Wouldn't be me if I didn't almost break my camera every time. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, this one's pretty chill. I got these from the buck store, as you can see there. Um, <laughs> chaotic. Uh, it, yeah, not much else to say. I just wanted something easy. So I did a little replica of, <laughs> this is so cringe, the Eras Tour pianos, okay? I don't care. Whatever. Sue me. I'm a Taylor Swift fan, okay? Uh, I thought it was a cute idea. As soon as I saw these, I was like, oh, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I don't know. Maybe it's been done before. I don't know, but here I am. This better be recording. Hold on a second. Oh, my God. Okay, no, we're good. Oh. <laughs> Panic attacking. <laughs> All right. Ignore me. Frick, dude. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna probably be silent for a bit. I'm tired, okay? Let's just watch me make this dang thing. I'm really just assembling it and gluing it all together. Um, before I go, I will note, if you're using super glue like I am, use gloves. Because my fingers were like solid after. It was not the vibe. But especially if you are a child and you're trying this um craft make sure your parents are around get gloves on and maybe you know like if you have time you could probably just use regular El El elmer's glue um i'm yeah i'm impatient a bit so i didn't but uh yeah just enjoy guys i will be back to give you my two cents when i have it This part, I'm like, you could tell, like, my ADHD is kicking in. Because I'm just like, oh, oh, okay, wait for this one. This one's good. <laughs> that is so chaotic. It's airy season. You know it is. So that's just that. We're just going to leave that there dry. For all damn mess. But we're going to prune it, okay? See, I think I just at one point, I'm not sure, maybe I think I ran out of super glue, so. Um, apply generously. Because, like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna trim it down. It's pretty, honestly, this craft is so straightforward. Um, that's the thing I like about those mini build kits. And it's so small, it takes, I think it took me, like, if I wasn't filming, like, like right here probably if you're paying full attention you could build this thing in probably a minute like if you had the glue on deck okay maybe not a minute maybe like two or three minutes but you know it's fun right um i would say the, the hardest part about this project was probably painting the other piano or this one that i'm working on right now i'm not a painter I don't paint, but oh, clearly I just didn't. <laughs> I left a little friend in there, under there. I didn't bother to take that out. Okay, that's good. That's fine. No one's gonna see it, right? It's on the inside. Oh my god, I, I low key love the little close up. Loving for that. Thank you. 
So, I'm not a painter, like I said, I'm not. So, but this just is just like a basic wash. I would call this like a little like wash over of color, kind of like stains it, if you will. Um, this is just acrylic paint mixed with a little a little bit of water. You just slather it on there. It's it's not dark enough yet, so I definitely end up putting another coat of paint, but. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> um, bring in. Okay, I'm not. I know color, okay? I know color. Um, but it took me. I had to Google how to make the color brown, and like, there's like different ways. But anyways, everyone, remember, if you want to make the color brown, it's two primary colors equally mixed together. Okay, and it usually it'll get you some variation of brown. I feel like that's something I should have known, maybe, but I didn't. And yeah, you learn along the way. So, also um, in retrospect, here I think I probably would have used a paint marker instead of like painting it on. I don't really have, I don't have thin, super thin paint brushes. I'm not. I don't have a steady hand either. So I would just. I would probably, if you if you did have them, use paint markers. I think they would work a lot better. Same, same with this too, but like all I, I'm just using what I have around or what's around and available. You could even like just use a pencil crayon, right? You don't even have to paint it, but I think like if you have painted it, it gives it a nice like texturized look. And like, I'm not an artist, I'm not, but you don't really need to be. It's like, it kind of, if it kind of looks like it when you squint your eyes. <laughs> then you're good okay it's giving it's giving like abstract it's giving your own you know unique style to it you're stylizing it i think i think it turned out great i mean you could tell you know you can tell what it is So, artist, castle. See, I'm not, I'm also, I don't, like, I kind of understand the, the like, shading and maybe the importance of it um exactly placement i'm still learning <laughs> so you know it's like great but like i said squint and it looks pretty decent i think it's cute <laughs> the yellow just gives up hey oh my god yeah, and like, it, it doesn't look great. The piano keys don't look great. But you're not really going to see them, are they? And then I think I was just trying to overcompensate here. And it turned out really good, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, see, like using the pencil, I think, definitely. And just leaving it bare was probably the best option. So I'm glad I did that. And now we're on to our final um, assembly line um installing the the hat of the grand piano um yeah that's it <clears throat> that's it that's all i mean let's let's take a peek at the results i'm pretty pretty happy with it
thanks again for watching. I don't know if I said thanks or even if I said hi to begin with. <laughs> but thanks for stopping by. Those are the reference pictures for you, anyone who's wondering uh, where I got the idea from. Uh, again, thanks for stopping by. Subscribe if you want to see more hobbies. We'll be back for episode 5 in 14 days. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.